SCV Newsbreak for Tuesday, June 23rd. The man who was found dead in his home at Sierra Apartments on Monday morning has been identified. 50-year-old Samuel Harmon Van Dusen was found dead in his apartment when his wife returned home from a weekend trip. Detectives also reported that Van Dusen has had a few suicide attempts in the past. The firearm found at the scene was consistent with his wounds, which is what initially led investigators to believe it might have been a suicide. His death is being investigated as a homicide, but has not been ruled a homicide or a suicide as of yet. Los Angeles County Sheriff's Homicide Bureau is still investigating, and the cause of the death has yet to be identified pending an exam by the Los Angeles County Coroner. An FAA official is taking some of the blame in the fatal Acton helicopter crash that killed three men back in 2013. The Federal Aviation Administration's inspector's failure to recognize the flight as potentially dangerous during the pre-flight review is only a contributing factor to the pilot's decision to take the flight despite light reducing his visibility. Pilot David Gene Gibbs and his passengers Darren Arthur Rydstrom and Michael William Donatelli were killed when the chopper went down at Pulsa Rosa Movie Ranch on February 10, 2013. The light in the cockpit is mostly to blame, with Gibbs stating that it just really blinds me before taking off. The pilot crashed only one minute after liftoff. Phase 3 of the Santa Clara River Trail is now complete. A ribbon cutting to celebrate the grand opening of the path brought about two dozen cyclists out to enjoy the new trail. My favorite thing about the bike trails is they're safe. You're really in a, in a secure area. I, I don't like the idea of getting plugged by a car, which has been known to happen. I try to come out three times a week, three, maybe four, some running, some uh, cycling. And one of the things I, I think is great is the commitment that the city has made to this trail system. It's, it's, it's awesome. And uh, as Bob Keller was telling me earlier, I think this is, our trail system is certainly among the best in, in, in the state, perhaps. The trail is located in Valencia, right off of Golden Valley Road, and runs along the riverbed. We believe that our multi-use trails are extremely important for the residents of Santa Clarita. And actually, a lot of people come here specifically from other areas in order to use our trails. Now, turning to weather. Temps are going to stay in the 90s with a high of 98 on Thursday. Clouds are going to move in on Friday and be patchy until Saturday. Overnight lows are going to stay in the mid 60s throughout. That's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Jessica Boyer.